Good morning, 10.09 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So if you're tuning in, please make sure to hit that like button, as it will greatly help push this community through the analytics and the algorithm. It'll help more people reach this beautiful community, and it'll allow us to have more of an active discussion within We've had a few things take place this morning. IOTA is up 28% right now. And it's had a massive outpouring of uh, volume. It had 9.9 .9 million in volume in this four hour stretch, which it's up to about now 10.4. And on average, it was only getting about 50 to 110,000, roughly 140 and some. So now we can see the setup. We had this falling channel with IOTA and it broke on the outside of it. Got a beautiful consolidation and bounce out. We can see the setup to the breakout. So is IOTA just a, is it front running something that's coming in the market? Or is this something that's just happening on its own? But remains to be seen. XRP right now is down 1.03%. But I figured I'd start with IOTA since I know some will talk about it. We do have a similar setup with XRP. Aside from the fact we had that volatile run up on this consolidation. Right now... XRP is very much uh, stuck within, are we going to break down? Are we going to use this inverted left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and bounce out? If we lose this uptrending support, it's I know we're repeating ourselves here from yesterday, but if we lose this uptrending support at that 601, you're more than likely coming all the way back down here and retesting this 200-day in the daily, and that would bring you down to $0.55 cents approximately. If we come down there, this pattern's pretty much, it's in a bad way. If you come down there, the pattern's in a bad way. Um, what we really need to do is we need to get on top. First area right here, we need to get on top. Even if you consolidate out, we need to get back on top of this little bit of a falling channel that was formed on the outside of the descending triangle. It's consolidated too much on the outside, so we had to revamp the pattern because the descending channel is still there. It's just we've been on the outside and we're in a sideways consolidation. So now if we do break down, we're going to have added liquidity to where we could dump all the way to 52 possibly. So it's in our best interest to hold this support, not come back down here and retest the 200 day. Because if you do that in the four hour time frame, you have now have a death cross validated, which is very close to happening right now. We're actually on the last layer of invalidating a death cross before it possibly happens. Because if we do break down and lose just the 601, which we're very close to, you would you would have a death cross in this next uh, day or four hour candle. So right now we're trying to bounce off a of 607 and work our way up. If we look at the price, we're at 6050. So we're underneath a very important level that we need to stay above. Bitcoin right now is down 203 points this morning. It's testing the 20 day right now. It looks like it could be starting some bull flagging material. But if this is a reversal candle, which it very well could be, if we can't close above that 37,980 on some of these candles, it could end up being a bearish overtone. And if you do get a bearish overtone, eventually you just get a collapse right back down to this 34,870 area. Otherwise, if we can get on top of 37,980 and hold it, we have a technical breakout move that we could get to 42,663. And that's the technical breakup if we can continue on after having this um, breakout on the broadening wedge. If we get back within the broadening wedge of Bitcoin, that would send us all the way back down to 26737 So there is a big differential here, whether we break out or break down. So it's going to rely a lot about that with all of crypto. The Bitcoin dominance starts up to 53.2 this morning. It looks like it just continues to move up. It never came down completely it almost came out exactly down to the uptrend it missed it by it was 51.5 it came down to 51.8 so what's in that plus minus ratio and now if it uses this as a support i mean your next layer is 57.83 percent does that mean crypto would be falling or does that mean bitcoin's moving more than all coins or is the rest of crypto falling faster than uh, bitcoin that's always the main question for me this morning i know we bounced around a little bit but when i'm looking at xrp i know we have to hold this structure and we have to break above first this part of the structure. And then ultimately, we must be on the top side of 647. It's just that simple. We need to be at I, 648. I'm sorry. We need to be on top of 648. 
If we're on top of 648, we can start opening the door for the push up to 75 cents, and we can still try to have an end of year rally to 85 cents. The reason why that's so much on the table is because the overall formation brings us back from January of 2018. So now another rejection here would be a third time, even if you got rejected at 85. We've had prior rejections, first at the all-time highs in 2018, and then the second one after we dumped down and had a rerun up in 2021. Now we're trying to have a retest here in 23. We almost did back here, but we didn't quite get there. So, and it looks like a wide cup and handle there that's forming. And we're rounding the bottom here. So if you look at this, what does XRP look like? That's XRP right now in the daily time frame. Let's take a look at IOTA before it broke out. I mean, that's a downtrending support. You've got, it doesn't look exactly the same, but can XRP bounce off like this? If we get volume like IOTA did, we absolutely could. But IOTA just got in. The average was about 150,000 and that's on the top end. It's over 10.4 million. And this can it's 10.78 million. And look at these candles before. You had 1 million there, 400,000. Oh, we're in the daily now. Uh, 528, 455. So, I mean, you've literally got 20, 25 times the volume that you were getting on IOTA. Is that going to happen with the rest of crypto or is that something specific to IOTA? If XRP got that kind of volume, we'd have a significant break to the top side. We just haven't got any volume, but that looks very similar. If we can bounce off this inverted right arm, we've got a big move to come. But if we break down, 52 cents could be on the horizon. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. Please make sure to hit that like button. If you got anything out of this this morning, hit that subscribe button and join the over 19,300 plus subscribers. If you want to show me personal support, you can always send a YouTube super chat. Or we've been hurting a little bit on the members of Tom's Army. Um, at least new members. So please, if you like what I do, consider joining Tom's Army. I don't charge for any of my content. I don't do any paid advertisements, promotions, or sponsorships of any kind. I try to give you a free viewing experience. Please share this on social media as it will help this audience grow bigger. And if you want to show me personal support, you can always send the YouTube Super Chat or join Tom's Army. And then if you want to trade XRP, it's in the video description below. There's several different exchanges. Femex, or uh, not Femex down there because after the 31st of this month or 30th of this month, they're not going to support new users in the USA. So we have BitUnix and Mexi. Have a blessed afternoon. Make sure you take care of each other. And I will be back later on this morning when we do the midday market report.